it's you know it's going to be 10 p.m. soon, so I thought it's useful to actually <laughs> give you an idea of what the All India picture over here is. The All India picture sees the NDA coming back to power. Prime Minister Modi will be back uh, the third time uh, in a row. It's the first time that we've seen a performance like this by any political formation or political party since 1962. He spoke about that in his election speech. Uh, but the real surprise, in a sense, this time around was the fact that there is an opposition in this country which is fairly robust. That parliament this time around is going to have uh, perhaps more strident protests, criticism, constructive things, because the number of 232 for the India Alliance is quite important. If we take a look uh, at states, again, one of the key talking points this time around would be the state of Uttar Pradesh. This is where the BJP absolutely dominated last time around, winning virtually everything. This time around, just look at the numbers. The India Alliance ahead of the NDA, who would have thought in Yogi Adityanath state, something like this would be possible. The NDA down 28, uh, the India Alliance at 37. And if you look at the blues which mark the uh, opposition, and largely the Samajwadi party, who we haven't really marked over here, you know, through and through, in area after area, whether it's Avad uh, over here, or uh, where the India Alliance is ahead, the Bundelkhand area over here, where again, narrowly, uh, the India Alliance, the Doab area, which lies to the west, um, the NDA, the east uh, as well, the West as well, and the point I'm making is in, in every single area uh, of India's largest state, we've got uh, the India Alliance, which has been ahead. Uh, in fact, other than this particular area, um, the, which is the Northeast, where the NDA was ahead. Let's just move to another one uh, of uh, the really interesting states. If you thought that it was the Congress Party which would potentially do well in the state of Karnataka, given how well they did in the recent assembly elections, no, think again. It is the NDA which uh, has done very well over here. Quite clearly, the rhetoric of the assembly poll, the pointed campaign of the uh, assembly poll hasn't translated into results in Karnataka across the state. Uh, we've seen the NDA dominant, down seven from last time. The Congress did bigger, better rather. But again, the NDA coming to be uh, very, very strong. And I'm just going to look at two other uh, key states over here. If we take a look at uh, the west of the country, Maharashtra has also been a huge talking point because the India alliance riding perhaps on the bank of uncertainty on the true identity of the Shiv Sena, the true identity of the NCP, uh, you know, up 20 from last time, around 29 to 18, all across uh, they've been dominant. Um, one more state which we can actually look at, east of the country. This is important because the BJP has spent so much time and effort at making a mark in, uh, in West Bengal. And we've seen this consistently for, for a party which has done fairly poorly in Bengal several elections back to hitting their stride with remarkable assembly uh, 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 results, really taking on the Trinamool Congress. It was 22-18 in favor of the Trinamool last time around, but a substantial drop for the BJP this time. As you can see, the Trinamool at 29, uh, the BJP at 12, down 6. So Mamta Banerjee remains very, very strong. But if there is one area in Bengal where the BJP continues to do well, uh, it is the North region where they're down one, but still considerably ahead of both the Congress and the Trinamool Congress. It's actually in, um, in uh, the south of Bengal, where the Trinamool, and this is Mamta Banerjee's electoral heartland, uh, where she's done uh, extremely well. And Maria, I'll, I'll invite you to, to ask me to click on any of these icons. I'm clearly having a field day over here. We've got uh, key candidates over here. I think you should start with Akhilesh Yadav. <laughs> All right, let's look at Akhilesh Yadav over He's here. The He's the man of the uh, moment in Uttar Pradesh. Moment. Uh, these leads will be translating into results, possibly a result already. In fact, the Samajwadi party has done remarkably well across the state uh, and, uh, and he's been at the center uh, of it all, dominating, uh, in a sense, the, uh, the India alliance uh, and their role uh, over there. Uh, Smithy Irani, I tracked her in Amethi a couple of days back. She did appear to be confident. She felt she was certain about the pulse on the ground, but she's lost that, uh, that election. Uh, a huge defeat for the BJP and perhaps uh, unexpected in that constituency where the Congress has seen, uh, uh, you know, I mean, their presence over there and it's been a pocket borough uh, 
uh, being restored I in a sense. Umar Abdullah uh, has lost in Baramulla and Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, in, in, and there was a sense that um, he would in fact uh, offer the governance, he's tweeted about it, conceding election earlier on, his opponent, somebody in, uh, in jail presently, uh, but he said that he misses the opportunity or the chance of actually providing governance, but he has congratulated his, uh, uh, his opponent, somebody who won the election as well. Another big player, of course, Chirag Paswan. Um, you know, winning uh, in uh, in Hajipur in Bihar, uh, very very important as far as the the NDA is concerned at this stage. So, that's a, a look at just a couple of, of okay. faces over there. This is the overall story, as you can see, plenty to talk about in the days ahead. The NDA uh, will be meeting. The India Alliance will be meeting uh, yeah. as well.